Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Today is episode number 17, and we are carrying on with uh, this mission first. <coughs> oh. Hmm, he's in here. Uh, so we need to speak to this guy. Um, is there like an open window we're supposed to jump in? Oh, maybe this might be it. that sent you here I'd have been eaten alive if it weren't for you I don't think they'd eat you but they would have certainly killed me so thank you I'm always happy to help someone in need the world could do with more like you especially now yep Belkis indeed sent me he was worried about you do you often get tied up and surrounded by snakes how can you joke about this thugs broke into my home dragged me here tied me up and surrounded me with these hideous creatures. They must be stopped. The snakes? The thugs! Why would anyone do this? Politicians are easy targets in these troubled times. When they tied me up, they said I was a snake. That I should die by my own kind. Did hmm. you recognize the people who did this? Pericles asked me to go down to the fishing district and talk with the poor and sick to give them hope. That's how I recognized their voices. Oh, yes. They threw rotten food and yelled insults at me. These thugs disguised their faces, but their voices and the stench of fish were unmistakable. Oh, where can I find them? Where should I look? <clears throat> I couldn't see their faces, but I recognized their voices from one of the districts I visited. They're regulars at Cleon's rallies. They live in the flooded part of the city, near the wall. I'll track them down, Metiochos. Don't worry. Tensions are high right now. At this rate, we'll tear each other apart within the city before the Spartans can breach the walls. Hmm. Okay, so we need to go to the home of the attackers, which isn't too far away, surprisingly. <laughs> How do we get out, though, is the question. There we go. We're out. Part of Athens, I doubt Pericles is proud to talk about. There has to be a clue around here somewhere. Shit, I didn't see snakes. Snakes. Like the ones that were meant to kill Metiochos. Hmm. Snake bites. And someone hid the body. Though I have a feeling this death was an accident. Hmm. Ah, we have this clue here. It looks like the thugs who attacked Metiochos weren't the masterminds behind this plot. This must be the house of Metiochos' attackers. But the letter proves they're just tools in someone else's plan. Whose? What the fuck are you doing sniffing around my house? 
You attacked Meteochos. I found the snakes, the letter from your friend, and a body. All here. Ah, oh, poor Actis. We all knew the risks. Chains don't happen without a bit of blood being spilled. Why kill Meteochos with snakes? We're prisoners in our own city. Because of Pericles and his crooked friends. The snake dealer told us it's time to send a message. Time they suffered. You can't take the law into your own hands. Now I need to decide what to do with you. Cleon says it's time we took the city back from the elite. Time to fight. Don't matter what you do to us, there will be others who follow our lead. I know someone gave you those snakes. They used you to do their dirty work. I want to know who. He's a real hero of Athens. No puppet of Pericles is going to stop him. Tell me what I want to know, or I'll cut you down right now. Your cause will be forgotten, and so will you. All right, all right. He's got a camp just outside the walls. Sells his snakes from there. It's not too late to make a difference, but we have to work together. Maybe you're right. You didn't have to show us mercy. But where do we start? Start here. This district is your home. Ignore the politicians, and concentrate on where you can make change. Thank you. We will try. I need to rid Athens of the snake seller. Right, where is the snake dealer? Over here. I have a feeling, though, he might have a lot of snakes. He was a sneaky bugger hiding there. There will be trouble if I'm spotted here. does a lot of damage and I use the wrong ability Right, uh, quick, 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 uh, inventory. Uh, craft max. Come on. You can't stop me. He's a mercenary. Oh shit, 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 shit. Fuckers. Ah! We had no adrenaline. Reload latest save. Let's try that again. We need actual adrenaline, though. Adrenaline is one of those things that's hard. It regenerates so quick when you're fighting normally, right? 
when you're using bow and arrows, there's no recharge rate. It is so slow. <sighs> I should watch my step around here. I won't let you any closer. Are you going to have a problem? Come on. Right, I'm going to try and see... Uh, oh, quick. I may need to uh, craft Max quickly. Oh, why didn't he shoot? I didn't boot him. Why? Come on. I'll end you, Mistyos. Nice. That was good. That's all right, we can take a little bit of poison. Oh no, we can't take that much. Come on. Woo! Come on. Ah, oh, I missed. His death should keep friends of Pericles safe. I'm tired. Can I sleep now? I think I should sleep. Whoa, that was crazy. You should get out of here. They'll be on high alert here. Try me, I dare you. Here we 
we go. Report to uh, this guy. Looks like your situation's improved since we last met. The danger has passed for now. But while those monsters are out there, no one is safe. A group of fishermen tied you up. They were being used by a snake dealer working for enemies of Athens. What did you do with them? I showed them the error of their ways and sent them on their way. They won't be bought. Oh, my controller died. Lovely. Ah, uh, let's plug you in. There we go. Bring you again. I'm glad no blood was shed. But how do you know they won't return? I made it very clear that doing anything stupid would make me angry. Well, that must have been a terrifying experience for them. Thank you for your help, Mystios. I'll be sure to mention this to Pericles. That's everything Pericles wanted. I'm to return to him and find out what these Athenians know about my mother. <coughs> yep. Uh, so that actually went really well, that mission, surprisingly. Uh, so we need to go and speak to Pericles. Right, so we got to reach his house. We've got ourselves an open invitation for a meeting with him, pretty much. We got a long way to go. <clears throat> Right, so we need to get past the. We'll be watching you, Mistyos. At least you can. Ah. Alexios, it's you. Phoebe. You promised we'd see each other again, and now we have. I also said stay out of trouble. Which I have. Okay, almost out of trouble. How did you even get here, Phoebe? Well, I did make some draft me working for Marcos. So you paid someone to bring you to Athens? Not exactly. Phoebe. I needed a draft me for when I arrived. I couldn't use it all to leave, and I didn't want to wait any longer, so I sneaked on a ship. Don't worry, nobody saw. I just can't believe you made it. I don't remember much of Athens from when I was a baby, but every once in a while something feels familiar. It's nice. <laughs> I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So, you somehow work here? For Pericles? No, for Aspasia. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry, I'll take care of them. We don't want to scare people in there. Well... How is it you're working for Aspasia? Well, hmm. I did get into a little bit of trouble after I got to Athens. I may have been a leader of a small group of orphans that tried to cheat Aspasia. We didn't know it was her, though. And you convinced her to hire you? <laughs> no, she asked me on her own. That was lucky. Uh, let's go I in. I think I'm ready to go in. You can't. Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. There's no way I'm wearing that. But if you don't... I mean it, Phoebe. You have to leave your weapons here, though. Fine. Haha. <laughs> I ain't changing into anything like that. Not at all. Don't say I didn't warn you. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry. You've done scarier things than this. I'm struggling to think of any right now. 
Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. <laughs> right, in we go. Here, Alexios. The mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made his grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. What are those? Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're no different from any of them. Do you really hmm. think these people will help me? Perhaps your individual fashion sense will get their memories working. Now then, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it, but this group holds the way to the future on the tip of their opinionated tongues. Ah, Sophocles and Euripides, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, every pedis. <laughs> it looks more like a lover's quarrel to me. <laughs> Ermipos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Prodagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. Oh. Inviting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Thrasymachus. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh. He never attends his own parties. Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his help with. Vile Socrates, always appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, Alcibiades, this is not a time for jealousy, but for love. What the... Let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good, and don't drink too much. So, tell me, what does a Mystios like you think of a party like this? Hmm. This party could be fun. Alcibiades drinks like a Spartan. <laughs> Maybe he fights like one Maybe too. Maybe he fights like if one. If I could suggest anything, please don't start a fight. Or end one. Thank you, Herodotos. Now, if you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere, and I need to prepare him. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your sister said. Agreed. Pericles needs to know. I'll stay here and look for clues. I hope they know something about your mother. Me too. Right, let's go and find out then. I only use these terms, war, gods, civility, etc., in context of what we can observe. I can see soldiers fighting, sure, but does that really bring me any closer to understanding war? A mystios? At this party? Well, at least you're someone new to talk to. Sure, we can talk. What about? Before Protagoras changed the subject, we were talking about the next great leader of Athens, Cleon. Ah, 
I'll change the subject again. I'm looking for someone. A Spartan woman. Spartan? Hopefully she's dead in the gutters. It's better than those mongrels deserve. I wonder if you found the woman. Even if you saw her with your own eyes, would you believe her existence to be true? This is getting nowhere. Forget it. If you don't want to discuss that, then what? <laughs> if you're an ally of Cleon, why would Pericles invite you? You're not from Athens, outsider. Here, we keep our enemies closest of all. Why isn't Aspasia here? Can you be certain she isn't? To observe her presence is still no guarantee that she is here. In my opinion, <laughs> it's just like her to cower in the shadows while we stand out here in the light. Yeah, that's enough this talk. This has been useless, Kiere. Right, we're done with you talking to you. And so it isn't the rich and powerful, but the gods who are the source of justice? What? No! Have you been listening to nothing I say? Can I speak? Ah, the there we go. From the ostracism. Let's talk later. No, I want to talk now. Yes, you come and talk to this infuriating air blooded. I've had my feel. Perhaps who later. do I talk to then? Just explain to me your point again. I miss the Osimpericlis' abode. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. You must have seen me doing my impression of Ermipos. I call it the dejected weasel. <laughs> Tell me, what does it think? <laughs> Don't call me it. Did you just call me it? Watch your mouth, Athenian. It speaks, and so feisty too. Sometimes I wonder if I'm doomed to be the only young and beautiful thing here. So, what do they call you? Alexios. Hmm, I wouldn't peg you as an Alexios. But never mind. I'm Aristophanes, and this man is Evripides. Oh, go on. Introduce yourself. I'm Evripides. For a playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old every Pidis likes to say. Don't you, every Pidis? Now, if you'll excuse us, I was just about to dazzle this old dog with my impression of Pericles. I call it the wooden board. The man is your host. Under every stone hides a politician, I always say. And Pericles is no different. Hmm. We need information from these people. I don't even know who they are. Oh! I'm just being stupid. Amistios? Here? I suppose they've sent you to mock me for my fight with every Pedis. I've seen lots of fights. That wasn't one. <laughs> I really made a fool of myself this time, didn't I? I'm Sophocles, though I'm sure you knew that. And you are? I am looking for information that'll help me find someone. A Spartan woman. Hmm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, you expect too much. You could talk to every Pidis. He's the second most worldly man here. That pediculous. Xanthodontus exothalmic Morosov. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. No, Neither did I. Don't. So, we get him drunk and he talks. He sounds more Argiv than Athenian. Impressive foreigner. Evipides is from Argos. Alright, if nothing else, this party could use the help. You need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when every piece is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. You're awfully worked up over every piece. You sure you're just friends? I'm never just anything, foreigner. Though I confess, 
Every Pidis and I hold a bond deeper than brotherhood. Why he slams it with a penal young plaything, Aristophanes, I will never know. How do you know Pericles? I believe you mean to ask me, how does Pericles know you? I am the greatest dramatist in the land, mentor to every Pidis, lover of Asclepios, father of theater, and so on, and so on. I'm sure it's a real honor to have you hiding in his kitchen. I'll get the wine. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. Hmm. You! You shouldn't be in here! What do you want? Oh... I'm here for your sweet wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. <laughs> it's come back for more! Care to see my impression of Protagoras? I call it the flapping bladder. <laughs> I'm sure he wouldn't. When I need to relax, I start to fight. For you, though. Quickly! Bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. You and Aristophanes could both use a drink. Let's play a game. A competition? Ah! Wonderful idea! <laughs> Every pity seems quiet, but he never turns down a challenge. Well, if you brought us some wine, I wouldn't be opposed to showing this young one how we are gives drink. I'm only here because I'm searching for someone. And yet it gave us the distinct impression it was here to fill our wine. Let's focus on that first, shall we? Let's conjure the Onisos, shall we? This... this is pure swill! Amateur. In my day, this would be considered nectar of the gods. Another round! <laughs> Why don't you just apologize to Sophocles? It's he who should apologize to you. Sophocles is a friend, and one good friend is worth an entire family. He just needs time to recover from his outburst. Ready for more? Drink, drink, yeah. drink, drink, chug, I chug, chug. I stomach this pig's piss. I could outdrink both of you with one hand. Let's have some more. Pericles has invited all of you here for some reason. Either we dine here and praise Pericles, or we dine with Cleon. But Cleon has all the charm of a typical politician. A horrible voice, bad breathing, and vulgar manners. <laughs> you ready for another? Let's go. Let's see how pissed we can get him. This wine is terrible. You, I like you. <laughs> who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every Pivis, write her into a play. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divine pity. I should know it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she would trust priests. Oh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. He's a physician, best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. I'll think about it. Hippocrates <laughs> in Argos. Here I come. Return to Sophocles. How's every Pidis? 
drunk, I hope. Yes, he is. You can stop hiding in here. Every Pedis won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? <laughs> he this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. <laughs> if you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. Gather more information. Someone's being hurt. Open this door, or I'll kick it in. Oh, oh, oh! Don't mind her. She likes to watch. Look at you. Such authority. Such aggression. I can see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? It sounded like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door wide, wide open for you. Uh... I only came to this symposium to find someone. Sounds like we can help each other then, doesn't it? You fetch us a bit of oil, I help you find who you're looking for. Maybe they're in here. She's not in there. I think I'll check all the same. I come bearing gifts. <laughs> We're saved! Today, these women grieved for their sons, and these men worked the wall. But tonight, we forget all of that. Let's have some fun! What do you say? Care to join us? Fuck it, why not? Time for some fun. You'll have to help me get out of my clothes. Gladly. <laughs> this is weird. If like, we can feed them to the god. There's another god? Time for you to help me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business right until the end. I like that. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? No one flees Sparta. But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd earn her independence. The smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. Huh? Pietera? I've heard they play some sort of role in Corinth, but I assumed it was the same as any other city. Oh, no. These women are unlike any other you'll meet. A force, and the only ones there with any smarts. Ali! Come back inside! Ooh, the celebration continues. When you reach Corinth, find Anfusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. <laughs> Anthusa in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. It's a start. <laughs> that was weird. I think I pressed the wrong button. Nope, it's definitely not that way. Let's talk. 
Being so new to Athens and gaining access to this symposium is no small feat. Though you said there are things you wouldn't do, you gained Pericles' trust so quickly. I've made my choice. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued? If you've been arguing this long and you haven't agreed yet, just give up. We're discussing the nature of rulers. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasymachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! This argument between you two is pointless. Perhaps. How do you define art? I'm not getting dragged into this. Very well. Answer this. Does the artist not give form and symmetry to her subject? Well, yes. Laws and justice do much the same for people, do they not? And is there any better way to communicate the story of a people than by revealing its customs and laws? If yes, then ruling, and thus justice, must be an art, as Thrasymachos says. If you say so. Aspasia. Hmm. Looks like we need to speak to someone. You shouldn't be too hard on Socrates. He really has a brilliant mind, even if he comes off a little strong. <laughs> he isn't always like that, is he? Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him, and Alexios can help. Everyone listens when he talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Alexios will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. Your spies have been watching me. I knew you people couldn't be trusted. We do what we have to to survive, and there's no shame in that, believe me. Hm. You make an interesting choice, Alexios, in not dressing to fit in. Fit in? Fancy clothes wouldn't help me fit in. Your Athenian hitons are strange to me. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now, and do it discreetly. I've been searching for a woman named Mirini, my mother. I think she may be in danger, and my search brought me here. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. <laughs> That's all I have. Mostly. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guests. Hmm, where do we have to go? Pops, 
What way do we go? Am I just going crazy? Ah, this way. Here he is. Pericles, come down to the party. Alexios. I don't recall sending for you, Miss Theos. Phoebe shouldn't have let you in here. Aspasia told me to come find you. She wants you to come down to the party. Uh, she says I don't interact with our guests enough. But these parties aren't for me. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Erodos and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> <laughs> um... Phidias was awaiting trial, but you had me get him out of Athens. I figured you, of all people, would want to follow the law. Phidias is a very dear friend. I didn't want to risk him being found guilty. And, of course, there were other threats. So you knew? I know he's delusional, but... One day, when you have a friend you'd do anything for, you'll understand. I don't understand why you had Anaxagoras ostracized. Socrates said he was your friend. I won't risk the lives of those close to me if there's something I can do about it. So you did this to protect him? Anaxagoras understood my fears. Ten years may be a long time, but at least he'll be safe. Um... Why send Meteochos to the fishing district if it's dangerous? I would never have sent him into danger willingly. It seems you have many loyal friends. My people are important to me. Your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Erovados was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future. The Spartans aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming, and they're bringing their strongest weapon. Listen to him, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. I'm related to one of the cult members, and I believe her when she says they're coming after you. Sound counsel to consider. I'll be sure to let my men know, regardless. Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. That was the longest and most boring mission of any game ever to exist. Literally could not be more boring. But we have information on uh, whereabouts where we need to go. Uh, you look tired. Only of conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need the weapon after all. Are you leaving? I've had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You get used to it. It's nice. What are you going to do now? Uh, I'm going to... There is a woman in Corinth I'd like to talk to. I've heard about that place from Alcibiades. He says you don't go there to talk. Alcibiades says a lot of things. He sure does. Before you go, I heard something from Aspasia. About Kefalonia. What is it? She said there was some sort of plague. You don't think... My friend, the blood fever. Don't think like that. Whatever happened on Kefalonia isn't our fault. I'll go myself and find out if this plague even happened, okay? Okay, thanks. I knew I could count on you. 
Interesting. So there's been a plague as well. Hmm. Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Haha. <laughs> Bye. Well, that was a long, long quest. But that is going to do it for today's episode. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. It means the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.